dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's readings offer us a powerful lesson on the importance of humility. In the first reading, Ezekiel's vision of God's glory is a reminder of the awe-inspiring majesty of our Creator. The prophet's description of the whirlwind, the cherubim, and the wheels within wheels is a vivid portrayal of God's power and wisdom. And yet, in the midst of this grandeur, Ezekiel falls to the ground, overcome with humility in the presence of the Lord. In the Gospel, we see Jesus predicting his passion and death, and the disciples are unable to comprehend the significance of this event. They are too caught up in their own ambitions and desires for power to understand the true nature of Jesus' mission. It is only when Jesus takes a child and places it in their midst that they begin to grasp the importance of humility. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me, Jesus says. And whoever receives me, receives not me but the one who sent me. This is the wisdom of humility. Recognizing that we are not the center of the universe, but rather, we are called to serve and receive others in the name of God. It is a wisdom that is countercultural in our world, where self-promotion and self-aggrandizement are often seen as the keys to success. But as Christians, we know that true greatness is not measured by our achievements or our status, but by our willingness to serve and to love. We are called to be like the child in today's gospel, humble and receptive, open to the wisdom and guidance of God. So let us ask ourselves today, where do I need to cultivate humility in my life? Where am I tempted to seek power or recognition rather than serving others? Let us pray for the wisdom of humility that we may receive Jesus and the one who sent him and that we may be instruments of God's love and mercy in the world. Amen.